So my name is Joe Faber. I work for Green Hill Software. We are an embedded software solutions provider. So we make um, compilers and debuggers. Uh, and our flagship product is a real-time operating system called Integrity. Um, it's used in lots of different vehicle systems, um, safety-related systems, some of the new ADAS systems, and some of the things that are leading to autonomous driving. Okay. So is this uh, the first uh, CTS you're attending, or are you some sort of veteran to this show? Uh, we're veterans. So we've been here several years now. So and uh, what is uh, your uh, what are you excited about, especially for this year? What is your expectation um, for this show? Well, this year I think that um, there's a, a lot more visibility on cybersecurity uh, and safety in automobiles. Um, some of that's being driven by the advent of the technology that's going to lead to autonomous uh, driving. Um, but there certainly seems to be an interest, and that's a, an area of interest for me and you know, a solution that we provide from Green Hills is providing security and reliability for embedded systems. Okay. So um, what does uh, the future of mobility then look like as it is related to transportation? What do you think it's the development of the next years? What do, what do we see? What will other developments to come? Well, certainly there's a lot of active development on autonomous drive today. Um, I don't know exactly when we'll, we'll get there with the technology, but you know, maybe within the next 10 years, I, I believe the technology will be there. The big open question, I think, is actually on the uh, legislation and the insurance policies and, and how the, more the business side of things will be impacted by autonomous cars as they arrive. So I think there's some open questions as to when we'll see widespread adoption of autonomous cars, but I'm certainly looking forward to that. I, I would like to be able to read, uh, you know, read my iPad on the way to work or, or do other things while I'm in the car rather than drive. Okay. And what is exactly the role of your company playing in this process? What is your solution exactly for the customer or for the industry? Well, we're, we're definitely a supplier to the industry and not really to the end user of an autonomous mm -hmm. car. So. Um, tier 1s and OEMs use our software to build the computers that as a whole make up an autonomous car. Um, so we're providing the operating systems and the development tools that software engineers at Tier 1 suppliers and OEMs use to, to build these, these features and functionality in two cars. Now you already mentioned some obstacles on this path to autonomous driving like the legislation or mm -hmm. insurance uh, subjects, but from a technical point of view, are there other uh, aspects uh, that may hinder this process uh, or this development? Certainly security is a major challenge um, when, it, when it comes um, in terms of kind of roadblocks to enabling the autonomous car. If we don't have high levels of security built into these systems, then we may see malintentioned hackers, you know, hacking into cars to crash them on purpose. And, and if something like that was to happen, I think it would be a major setback to autonomous driving. So I certainly hope that we never see anything like that. But I also hope that as an industry, we're building in the appropriate security measures to prevent that kind of thing from happening. So um, what is your uh, vision of the car of, let's say, two th 2030? Yeah. Uh, what do you think is it will look like? I do think that ride sharing will, will come into play certainly by then and I think that autonomous cars will be um, here by 2030 and hopefully all the legislation is worked out by then as well. Um, but that, I, I believe that that future is coming for the automotive industry. Okay, perfect. Okay. Thank you very much indeed. Nice to meet you, Christoph.